friends, Pastor Sue just said, when you find yourself in the presence of joy, sing. And my heart right now is so joyful to be with you again that we're going to do children's time, children's time, gather round, gather round, listening, thinking, praying, listening, thinking, praying every day, every day day. It's so true, friends. I'm so happy to be with you today. Now, Pastor Sue and I kind of had the same idea. We were liking looking up the meaning of words. Do you remember at the beginning of her sermon that she was talking about the definition? What does joy mean? And I did the same thing. So I'm going to do, I'm going to remind you that joy can mean, um, delight. It's a state of happiness. It's a cause for delight. And it brings us pleasure. Now, if any of you are in like fourth or fifth grade, I know that you study synonyms because I've been in those classrooms last year. Synonyms, remember, are same meanings or words that have very similar meanings. Well, another word for joy is happy. And when I was looking that up, there was the synonym, happy was enjoying something, being joyful, joyous, glad, enthusiastic. Oh, but then I thought, I better look up the antonym, the opposite, sad. And it said things like unhappy, unjoyful, kind of blue. Not the color blue, but when you just feel blue. So I want you to think about your day. Now, if you're watching this and it's morning, you might have to think about yesterday, okay? Because that's the cool thing. We can watch this any time of day. We can watch this more than once. And I want you to think about your day right now. Now, again, I said if it's morning, think about yesterday. If it's evening and later and you've had a day, I want you to think about was your day happy or was your day kind of filled with sadness? Think about that for me. Now, I want you in just a minute because I want you to have a happy face and a sad face to use. So when I say pause, not yet, I haven't said pause. Remember, pause means to stop for a short period of time. When I say pause, I want you to pause this, this tape or on your computer. And I want you to go and I want you to get a piece of paper, okay? It can be a scratch piece of paper. This is a white one that I took out of a book. You can see it has holes. This is a yellow one that has pictures on the back and some holes, so it doesn't have to be brand new. Um, if you're allowed to use markers, you can get a marker if it's a crayon. And on those papers, when you do that, I want you to make a happy face and a sad face. Now, so you could see this better on the camera, I printed these from Pinterest, and my good friend, my church friend, Connie, laminated them for me. But you can just make a happy face like this. Two maybe big eyes and a great big smile. And you can decide if you want to cut it out or not cut it out. And great big eyes and a great big frown. Okay, pause. Go do it. <gasps> I hope you're back now. Yes. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to think of things that might make us happy or sad, okay? And what we're going to do is I'm going to say it, and then you show me the face of how you would feel about that. Now, sometimes we may not agree. Like one of the things on my paper from my lesson was a balloon, and they were saying a balloon makes you happy, but... Sometimes I don't really like balloons because I'm so afraid they're going to pop. So they would make me sad. So we won't always agree, and that's okay. All right. Are you ready? Here we go. Does an ice cream cone make you feel happy or sad? I'm hoping you agree with me on happy, but maybe you don't like ice cream. That's okay. All right. Um, your birthday. <gasps> happy? Yes, but not just happy. I bet you're joyful on your birthday. Okay. 
Oh, today I saw Connie's grandson, Cole, and he fell down yesterday like twice and skinned his knees. How did that make him feel? Sad. Yep, really sad. All right, spending time with a friend. Happy. What if you get a bad grade at school? Ooh, sad. Um, what if you lost your favorite toy? What if that girl that Pastor Sue talked about, Erin, she got that bear that fell out of the sky and she lost it? Mm, sad. Mm -hmm. How about a sunny day? Ooh, that always makes me very happy. How about if you start to argue with a brother or sister or your best friend? Probably makes you sad, yeah. How about if you go to a party? Bet you feel happy. How about if you get to maybe go even like to the dollar store and you buy something, might make you get a new toy? Happy. Uh, what if someone says something that hurts your feelings? Ooh, I bet that makes you really sad, doesn't it? Or when you miss someone, like you're probably missing a lot of your friends you haven't seen. Has it made you sad? What if you got to get or you saw a new puppy? I bet that would make you happy, wouldn't it? Okay, so we've been talking about things that make us happy or feel joyful. And we talked about things that make us sad. And when you think about those things, it's pretty easy to decide between them, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. And when something good happens, we're happy or joyful. And when something bad happens, we're really sad. Um, show me what you think Jesus wants you to be most of the time. Does Jesus want you to be happy or sad? You better all have happy up. Yes, Jesus wants you to be happy. In fact, in the book of John, chapter 15, verse 11, he says, I have told you this so that my joy will be in you. Pastor Sue was just talking about that. Joy inside of us. I also want your joy to be complete. Jesus wants us to have joy. Now, does that mean that there will never be bad or sad things in our life? No, it doesn't mean that. We still will have some. But did you know that even in sad things, you can find some joy. Pastor Sue was just talking about that, like looking for the joy. So I was thinking about some of the things that we said we were sad about. Maybe you're feeling alone, but I bet if you thought really hard about it, you could find some joy. You could go get a book and pretend you were somewhere else, like if you were reading um, uh, oh, like a Harry Potter book or a Henry and Mudge book. You could be the boy Henry and have the dog Mudge with you. Uh, maybe you're thinking about you're missing someone, some of your friends at school. What if you found some joy in making them a picture and mom and dad helps you mail it? That would be really cool. And on that making a bad grade at school, you can find some joy in that. Because you can say to yourself, hey, I'm not going to do that again. I'm going to study a little harder. I'm going to learn a little better. So we can have joy even if something makes us a little bit sad. And we need to remember that there is always, no matter whether we're sad or we're happy, there's always joy in our heart because Jesus loves you and he gives that to you. Let's say a prayer together. I'll say it. You say it after me. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, we know that you love your son. We know that you love your son and that your son loves us and that your son Jesus loves us. Help us to be full of joy. Help us to be full of joy. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a joyful rest of your day. See you.